And we are here and we are live at the Guangdong International Speedway located in China. Hi, I'm the broadcaster. It's good to have you with us today for the Sports Car World Championship running of the Guangdong 5 lap race. Up here in third place, we have Skekis, who is a previous winner at this track and also a champion of the Sports Car World Championship. Up in first, who has just posted the fastest time, we have P1 Nard1, who is also a winner here, looking for a solid lead in the championship. And we are about to go green. Stay tuned with us for the rest of the race. Field is getting in formation, and the countdown is underway. And they're off at Guangdong International Circuit. The green flag is waving. We're going three wide, four wide into the first turn. Several cars attempting to make their way up to first, and oh, we have an accident. A car goes off the track, two cars off of the track. That is Geroded 1985 who has fallen back all the way to 7th place. Up in 6th, we have a 4-way battle going on, with Skekis attempting to work his way back up after starting on the front row. Several cars going 2 wide and 3 wide into the first few corners, and it seems Brenosin has fallen down from the pole position. And oh, we have another spin-out, another spin-out! That was Chobby211 who just spun off the track and into the wall. That's going to set him up badly for the rest of the day. However, he recovered and is back into fifth place. It's going to be a long day for Chobby. Meanwhile, up in fourth, we have Asphalt Fleege, who is has already established a good gap in between him and fifth place Skekis. And we have another pass that has occurred. Brenosin and P1 Nardwan are battling for first right now. Jegla is also trying to get in the mix back there. And oh, we have a brief spin out. Oh, a spin out. A spin. That was P1 Nardwan. Briefly leading this race. He was looking for a solid finish today to put him in a better position for the championship. Skekis is meanwhile going for a move on the inside and he is going to pull back. He should have waited. He should have waited until this next bit of stretch. That's going to cost him. Meanwhile, we have a battle for second going on between Jegla and Asphalt. Jegla to the inside and oh, Asphalt goes off the track. Asphalt Fleege is off the track and several cars spinning out. Such as Chobby who has spun out once again, however loses no positions in that predicament. Let's take a ride along Asphalt Fleege for a second, will we? Notice how he, how he has quite the handling on the car. Up front, Brunosin has a 1.915 second lead over second place Jegla. Here they come around for the third lap. We have three laps remaining here at Guangdong. Here comes Jegla across the line marking his two lap to go mark. Several of the cars have splat out and they are racing right now in lockstep. And another car has gone off the track. Another car off the track, and we have a two-way battle for third place going on right now between Skekis and Asphalt Fleege. Jegla trying to make a move on the inside. Will he get it? No, he doesn't, and he proceeds to knock Asphalt off the track to the outside. 
Skeki is currently posting a solid run in second. He is distant from both third, but at the same time, he's distant from first. Jegla is still holding off Asphalt. Asphalt attempting to get a draft on him into the turn. And Asphalt gets third over Jegla, and he proceeds to spin out. Asphalt spins out. He is down in sixth right now. That is going to cost him a solid position in the race. Meanwhile, P1 Nard1 is down in fifth place. He has just worked his way around Asphalt after Asphalt spun out. And up in fourth, Chabi has worked his way up to the positions after spinning out early in the race. He is currently working his way around Jegla 1, 2, 3. And he slips a bit back there. That's going to cost him some position, and Jegla will be able to get a run off of him. And we have another spin, another spin, P1 Nard1. Spins back in fifth. This is going to give Asphalt a good advantage. He'll be able to work his way back up. Asphalt to the outside, and he does not get it. He does not get the position. Up in second, we have Skekis, who has given himself an even greater advantage over the third place Jagla with approximately four seconds. We have a two-car battle for third going on right now between Chabi, who has worked his way back up after crashing early, and Chabi to the inside. He gets the position, and P1 Nardwan returns the favor. Jegla back up to third after Chabi goes for it again. He goes for it again and gets third. He's right now establishing himself with a good lead over Jegla. Will P1 Nard1 also be able to get a run on Jaguar? And we're going into the final lap. The white flag is out. One lap to go. And P1 Nard1 goes off the track. He looks to the outside of Jaguar but does not get it. And to the inside, here he goes on both of them. He gets fourth. Now to the inside of Chabi. He gets the position. However, Chabi returns the favor, and P1 Nard1 back to the inside. He gets the position. P1 Nard1 still establishing his... Oh, and we have a bit of a tangle between the two of them. Jegla and P1 Nard1 and Chabi all getting a bit of a tangle. It's a three-car battle for third place. Oh, and Chabi has gone off the track. Chabi is off the track. And he seems to be out of the mix for that position. Jegla to the inside of Chabi, and he does not get it. Oh, and Asphalt Fleege and Jegla have just gotten in an accident. Jegla currently working on the backside of P1 Nard1. That, meanwhile, is the end of the race, ladies and gentlemen. Brenosin is the winner. With Skekis in second, P1 in third, Jegla in fourth, Chabi currently crossing the line in fifth place, Asphalt Fleege in sixth, and Jeroded, finishing approximately four laps down from the leader, finishes in seventh. It was good to have you with us today for the Guangdong International Speedway five-lap race and the Sports Car World Championship. I'm the broadcaster, signing off. And